Good morning, everybody. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day after Christmas. So this morning, we're going to have some fun, okay? We're going to have some fun this morning. I have, I just got a gift from my son's girlfriend, uh, uh, Stumptown. Okay, Stumptown Coffee Roaster. So let's see here. It's called Hair Bander, okay? You okay, guys, a Hair Bander from Stumptown. Uh, tasting notes, sweet and complex. I have no idea what it tastes like. So, so this is the brand new bag. Let's take a look at this one. Uh, it's an enjoy by January 20th, uh, 2022. Okay. So we've got about 20 days to left to enjoy this coffee. Again, if you are just uh, new to the channel, welcome to our daily live streaming. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday morning. Okay. So let's make some coffee with Stumptown. You know what, the uh, thing is my, son's gonna, my son wants to make some coffee. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let him use this and then uh, you get to see how my son makes coffee. And then after that, I'm gonna dial it in, okay? I'm gonna dial in this coffee for me, okay? I'm just gonna let him, kind of, you know, let him make coffee his way, okay? So it comes to the, uh, grinder size. The fact is I have no idea the grinder size on this one. I'm just going to set a number 13 for now, okay? Number 13, just because. I'm just going to... I'm going to have them... Okay, hold on. I think we need a scissor for this. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to get the scissor here. Uh, this is a, uh, this is more like medium roast. Simmer's pretty good, actually. It's not too bad. Okay. Okay, and then you get to see my son is making stump jumper. Not the, did I say stump jumper? Stump town. Okay. Stump jumper. Stump jumper is my mountain bike. Here we go. Okay, son. Okay, let's take a look. Why don't you make a coffee there? I'm just gonna flip the camera. So. And uh, I taught my son to use a single dose. So we, uh, we like to use uh, 18 gram at a time in our family. By the way, so how many of you just got a, a new coffee for Christmas? Yeah, let me know in the comment section. Is that 18 gram? Yeah. Okay. Okay, grinder size at 13 there. Okay. Mm. And then we like to use our dosing uh, funnel in our family. Okay, let's just tap a little bit. Okay, that's good. Okay, he's using uh, our silent and industry distribution tool. it in pretty much it for and then you're just gonna press the double cut button okay shot is extremely fast uh oh it's okay takes about 16 seconds there okay that's fine Okay, but thing is, my son's gonna make himself ice latte, so. No, it's complicated. He like to put the ice. Okay. And then, uh, let's see, are you gonna put some caramel syrup on? Yes. Okay. He's gonna put one, 
two, oh, oh. two pumps, and they're followed by whole milk. Okay, there we go. That looks really good, actually. I'm gonna get him some spoon for him. Okay, <clears throat> okay try that, son. What do you think? How's the flavor? It's interesting. He says it's interesting. I, <laughs> My son says it's I have he. not had this before, so I can't really tell. Hold on a second here. So I, I know someone mentioned about the turbo shot there. It is like turbo shot. Okay. Fast, but I'm going to try this coffee. It's not bad. Okay. It's not bad at all. <laughs> but again, <clears throat> if you put anything with milk and sugar in it, Tastes wonderful. Tastes good. Okay, tastes really good. Okay, so, so it's my turn now. Okay, my son is uh, finished making his coffee. So we set a number 13, as you saw, we got pretty much like 50 or like 55 gram in like 16 seconds. So we have to, uh, we, we got to extract more. Uh, how do you do that? Uh, the best thing is change your grinder setting to a uh, finer. Okay, so right now we are at, Number 13 right now, I think I'm gonna go down to even eight or seven, okay? Seven or eight there. And then we'll go down to seven or eight on grinder setting. And hopefully we can, uh, we can get a better extraction, okay? So this one was more like medium roast. So, I mean, if you are new to the Bravo Brista Express, uh, you can actually change the temperature as well. So temperature set at default temperature. So. I'm fine with it. Okay, so temperature is fine. So now I'm gonna change my grinder size. By the way, if you are using the hopper, because I like to do single dose because I, you know, I usually switch out coffee beans all the time. So that's another reason I like to use a single dose at a time. But if you are using the hopper, just make sure change your grinder size to finer setting. Uh, run the coffee grinder, okay? Like in a, like right now, just like I'm doing it right now. I'm just gonna go down to number eight. I'm just gonna go down to number eight. You, you see here that kind of like very tight because change the grinder setting. So you know maybe yeah number eight is good. You see that very sharp noise there, which means they're pretty tight. You know, I don't like that noise. Maybe change to nine. Okay, hold on. I think I'm gonna go nine. Grinder size nine. Okay. So again, I'm gonna be doing another 18 gram for this coffee. Uh, the grind, you know, uh, <clears throat> hopefully you guys can see this. It's pretty light, okay? More like, more like medium roast. Definitely medium roast there. I'm gonna do it so at 18 gram. Again, I mean, if you have scale at home, definitely handy, okay? And that's the one thing I highly recommend, uh, especially if you are just getting into coffee. Uh, get, a, get the scale, some kind of, some kind of funnel. I, li I, I like the 3D dosing funnel. It's mess free, but you don't have to have it, but yeah, pretty handy. Okay, I'm just gonna go measure out 18 gram. If I put 18 gram in, I get about like eight, like 17.78 gram out. So I like to put a little extra in it. Okay, like 18.2 gram. Okay, I'm just gonna put it in here. Yo, let me show you. Okay. So right now we are at 13 down to number 9 for grinder size.
I'm just going to top on the top like so. Get the, all the coffee grinds out. Okay, I, I put 18.2 gram in. I got 19 gram out, okay, which means I have a coffee beans from earlier, okay. So I'm going to, you know what, I'm just going to use my, just use a 19 gram, okay. I'm not the, I'm just going to use my 19 gram here. The thing is, I mean, you want to be precise as possible, but I mean, if you are in a hurry, you know what? See what happens, okay? So this is, uh, uh, I'm, I'm using the filter basket from Amazon. Uh, this is just a regular filter basket. I, think, I believe this is the 18 to 20 gram basket from Amazon. And also there is a basket from IMS as well. They got 20, uh, 18 gram basket and also they have 22 gram baskets. I'm just gonna go like this. Do a thing. Cup here. So this is 18 gram. Okay. I'm just gonna distribute. Uh, comes to temping pressure. If you're again, if you're new to the Brista Express or Pro, or even new to the coffee making at home. I know people talk about like 30 pounds of pressure, but as long as if you are consistent, okay, as long as if you are consistent with it, you should be fine, okay, you should be fine there. Hold on a second here, I have, so this is uh, just a, a precision temper from San Antonio industry, and this look like somebody dropped this, okay, goodness. Some, so I can, I can see very, yeah, somebody dropped my temper. What a shame. Okay, I can see that. All right. I'm just going to lock it in. I wonder who. Okay. So at this point, I'm going to wait my shot. So I put uh, 19 gram in, uh, comes to ratio wise, we can do one to two, one to 2.5. So I'm trying to shoot for around 40 gram, okay. Trying to shoot for 40 gram, comes to extraction time, 25 and 30 seconds there. I'm just gonna, all right, let's take a look. Give you guys closure. I got flashlight. Oh. Shooting for one forty gram. Twenty six seconds, forty seven gram. That's pretty good. I take that. Okay. Uh, it has lots of crumb. It's not bad. Okay, not bad for a uh, store about coffee. Not bad for store about coffee there. Okay, let's give it a try. Okay. Uh, and the tasting notes say sweet and complex. So. Okay, smells pretty good. I know a lot of people out there love a, a stump, uh, stump town. Special hair vendor is very popular. Their coffee beans are uh, light. Okay, let's try this. Cheers, everybody. Happy New Year coming up. Okay, acidic. Uh, it is a little, it's bright, okay? Bright means, some people think that bright means some it's sweetness as well. I can definitely uh, taste the sweetness in it. It's not bad, okay? It's not bad for store bar. Uh, definitely. I bet you if I'm gonna change to uh, even number nine right now, 
I bet you I can even go down to like number eight, okay? And I can uh, also I like to maybe increase my temperature as well. I think it should, oh, it should get some pretty decent shot here. So anyway, uh, espresso is fantastic. It's not okay. Not I don't want to say fantastic. But it's good. Okay, it's it's pretty good. Uh, you know I'm gonna make myself Americano this time. Yeah. So I'm just gonna get my hot water. Let's make some Americano and see. All right. Again, if you're new to the channel, welcome to our daily live streaming. You know what? I know. It is a lot of fun, okay? It is a lot of fun. You know, make videos and hang out with you guys in the morning for like, you know, 20, 30 minutes. I think we're trying to make sure to join the live chat, okay? We have a great group of community here in our channel. Uh, we, we actually we have some a lot of fun okay a lot of fun at uh, live chat and also Instagram live we go live you know sometimes right after YouTube but okay here we go so this is Americano using the leftover espresso uh, Stumptown and hairbender okay cheers man it is bright okay sweet so, uh, if you guys want something different, uh, if you don't have access to really fresh coffee, uh, if you don't have access to co uh, local coffee roasters, Stump Town is not bad, okay? Not bad at all. Pretty good. Anyway, uh, let's see here. We have so many questions or comments. We got, uh, we got some few people. You got Young Ma from California. No, Young Ma from uh, New York, okay, New York City. And we have, we got Marshall, we got Jake is joining us as well. I mean, Jake got a new uh, coffee grinder, the hand grinder. Fantastic, okay. I think it's called Hilo, I think. Jake, 75 millimeter uh, conical burr on your hand grinder. That's pretty impressive. Okay, that's pretty spectacular. Uh, we have uh, Jackie's from New uh, Georgia City, Stumptown. Yes, sometimes it's not bad for store buy, I have to say. Pretty good. Uh, and especially if you're using Americano, it's perfect. Okay. Hold on a second. Yep. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great Sunday morning. And then uh, I'm remodeling my coffee cave. I'm going to add some, you know, some kind of, I'm going to be doing some little remodeling, okay? Very light remodeling. I think I'm going to do that today. Uh, Jake asked me, Instagram, you know, uh, let, uh, let's jump into Instagram live right now, okay? Uh, if you have any questions or comment, let me know. Should be a lot of fun. And then what else? Uh, again, if you're new to the Bravo machines, Express or Pro, have some fun with it. I mean, don't too much worry about, you know, ratios and uh, like water temperature. Not right now. Uh, I know you guys just got this. I want you to enjoy for a while. Uh, if, you have a, uh, if you guys are having a hard time dialing in, uh, I have a plenty of videos on this. Uh, so make sure to check out my older videos, the dialing in session. But my, my process is very easy. I just start with the middle. Uh, like, so middle for this machine is a 15, okay? So one through 30 on the grinder setting. Go through 15, looking at the shot, make sure shot is too fast or too slow. You can start adjusting your grinder size, pretty much it. The key is you need to have scale, okay? To keep track of dosing amounts and what's the yield, okay? The yield means it was the liquid coming out from your filter so just make sure get yourself the one tool I highly recommend is the scale okay I mean different tools helps but yeah definitely scale is must anyway I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning and see you guys on Instagram